Hello. Good morning, everyone. I'm Liu Chen from CGTN. We're now live at the third China International Import Expo, and this is my colleague Jianhua. Oh, thank Hi. Thank you very much for your introduction. This is Jianhua from CGTN, and this is day four of the uh, China International mm -hmm. Import Expo. And today we're at the Ultra Exhibition, and of course we have a lot to see. And the global top seven car makers actually are here. And today mm -hmm. we're going to pop are we going around to this uh -huh. area. Yeah. Okay, wherever you want to go, just leave us a comment on social media, uh, including Facebook, Twitter, or and, Weibo. Yeah, Weibo, yeah. yeah everywhere I can find out, of course, today. Uh -huh. So this is the, um, the CIE. Panda. Panda. Okay. Um, it's cute, isn't it? It is very cute. And this is the mascot of CIE this year, every year. And this is a panda. And mm -hmm. this one is a pin, but for men, of course. If you uh, like, is it for men? Really? It is very big. I mean, so yeah, like even for I girls, so I can here. carry it on my clothes. Yeah, you can carry it, of course. It is very powerful. Uh -huh. So, anyways, so we have two <laughs> souvenirs here. If you like our post, like our live stream, and you can repost this, and then you leave a comment. And then you would get the chance to win these souvenirs. I'm mm -hmm. going to send it to your place and leave a comment. Of course, our editors will contact you and to leave your address and phone number. And you're going to have these uh, beautiful Cute gifts. gifts. Yeah, I really love this panda, actually. Then why don't you keep it to yourself? Yeah. <laughs> Here you go. That's the start of the journey. OK. Let's go. And my, my producer will uh, help me with that. So this is uh, the first stop of our journey around the um, car pavilion. Mm -hmm. And I can see these cars are not actually for and, real. Yeah, of course. When it comes to the auto industry, and people are usually quite into the sleek designs and the interior design and the performance of cars, right? Mm -hmm. And today we are bringing you to one of the top car designers in the world. It is, you know, it is responsible for nearly 80% of all of the luxury cars in the world. In the world? Yeah, and that one. To be honest, I didn't know this name before yes before yesterday. Yeah, it means it's actually Italian and in English mm -hmm. it means icon. Really? You okay. don't know the name of no. this company, but no. you probably would recognize all the cars in the streets that we see every day. Uh-huh. And but many people usually know the the car mix, but mm -hmm. they don't know the designers. And no. I had a quick tour around their designing office the other day, it was beautiful. And I saw something that mm -hmm. you probably would see in the streets running uh -huh. around yeah. for 10 or 15 years. Top secrets and they wouldn't <laughs> let me to let the cats out of the bags anyway. So now it's time to see the stories behind that. Okay, they're over here and now let's talk to them. Hi, hello. hello. Morning. Hi, good morning. How are you, Samuel? I'm very good. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi, would you like to say hi to our audiences around the world? Hello, here? hello everybody. Welcome to the Econa stand. Yeah, so Econa stand and then we have been uh, roaming around this area actually yeah. for the past few days. And then we have noticed you have a very beautiful car over here, quite oh, sleek. Yes. And it's attracted a lot of attention. People usually come over here yes. to take a photo. Yes. And then can you tell us something about it? If you roam the camera around, then you can see the design of it. So this car is called the Icona Fuselage. And uh, it's an electric car that is very much inspired by airplanes. This is why you see these airplanes. And yeah, of course. It is and like the fuselage of an airplane. Uh, yes, so that's why you see this very sleek design, which is actually quite timeless with a soft shoulder. Mm -hmm. And uh, at the same time, you see a lot of aerodynamic feature. This guy is very aerodynamic, mm -hmm. uh, which is very sharp. Again, these airplane inspirations of, of wings, for example. And you see this uh, uh -huh. sort of wings around the wheels that are anti-turbulences. I like the design of the door. It's very much like a flapping wing. That's right. It's yeah. a girl wing door for four people. And that's obviously a, a very unique feature to this car. That was the first ta time that actually it was ever done was on this car. We haven't seen that before. How and old I, is the design? Actually, the design is almost 10 years old. 10 years old. But amazingly, it has aged so well that people say, why don't you show it again? Because they, 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 they very much love the design. So we brought it here because we think there's also another point about this car. You know, there was a big trend for SUV recently yeah. because it, it's actually the easy way to go when you make an electric car to go for SUV because of the battery floor. Yeah, that's but true. in the future, batteries are getting better. We're also thinking about hydrogen, naturally. So basically reducing the size and weight of the batteries. And in the case of that car, to optimize the, the to optimize uh, the range the, and the seating position, there is no battery below the seat. So that's where you can have a beautiful profile and the batteries are uh -huh. in the center section of the console. Okay. 
So it is in the intersection of the console itself, right? That's right. Uh -huh. And the, the chassis actually is quite slow, so right. there is no way for you to put a battery down there, right? That's right. And so I really like the, uh, the front of this car, it's like a shark. It very much, Fei Sha. Yeah, I can tell. Fei Sha, it's like a flying okay. shark. Yes. And the English name is Fuselage, so that is why you are inspired by an airplane, the body of an airplane, right? Yes. Can I go into the car? And Shall we? Yes. Shall we try I do this? Do have a seat, and I will even encourage you, instead of sitting as usual as we do in the in the front, where you will not, you will be, have a very expected uh, situation. Why don't you try the rear, and you will be amazed that this show car actually has a lot of reality into it, okay. because you sit amazingly comfortably well in it. So it's a true GT with a very good package. I know actually for a fact that we are quite similar to a Maserati Coupe in uh -huh. terms of a space inside the car. Yes, it's very spacious. It's actually and very have spacious. A lot of room. If we go into the, uh, the car, and yes. then we, we'll see, we'll bring our viewers what it's like to sit in a luxury car like this one. Of course, it is a please do not touch. So, and then we're going to have the privilege to get into the car today. So, you know, the feeling that you're going to get is a feeling of space, but not as we normally do. You know the fact that there is no B-post? Yeah. You see yeah, right. one big span of glass. Uh -huh. It brings a, a sort of perspective of acceleration towards the front, uh -huh. and it gives a very nice panoramic view. Uh -huh. So it's a very comfortable uh, place to sit and to see. So the window is not really like 100% on the side, but it's very much like, it is very it's a, much like a room, we call it a room, what, what do we call it? I think like a sunroof or me, moon roof. Or, or, or we call it a panoramic window. Well, actually yeah. this is side window, right? it is not on the, on the top, but it's close to you and it, it just follows the perspective of your eyes and there's no interruption. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. You can so why, don't, why don't you just sit in? Why don't try you try this. it? No, I'm holding the uh, microphone. I'm going to no, hold you, it for you. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Now let me interview you. How do you feel about it? Comfortable. Comfortable. Maybe the, 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 the seat in front of us should the move the a little rear, bit. Rearward position, and, oh, and we uh, di could not plug the car uh -huh. with the, uh, for, the, for the show. The car is unplugged right now, okay. so I could not move it. But it's actually on the rearward position, uh -huh. but it's still, uh, uh, for a GT like this, you know, uh -huh. it's still a, a fairly uh, comfortable uh, situation. Yeah, it is quite comfortable actually. If you sit, Probably the driver's seat, and then you will feel different. Okay. Please don't touch the steering wheel when you, when you do sit. Okay. Yeah, there we are. Okay. Enough leg room. Yeah. That's a lot of leg room. So, yeah, we, this, this like is the real one. Yes, indeed. Looking around. It's cool, it's cool, yeah. It's pretty cool, right? Yeah, and, and, and the leg room is so large. Forward. So no, it's it, not it, moving. The car is not plugged. At the show, we could not plug it's the not car. Plugged, yeah. Not yet. Okay. But see here, you. I feel like I'm like lying on my bed and driving forward. It's lying on your bed and driving. Yeah, it's at like the same it's, it's, it's like not safe. <laughs> <laughs> Autonomous driving. But at least you are comfortable, right? <laughs> okay. Here you go. Yeah, that's lovely. I think it has attracted like the most attention, I have to say, mm -hmm. for this car, this large. There's no substitute for beauty, isn't it? Yeah, it's a beauty. And what is surprising is actually it is uh, 10 years old. That's right. And now yeah, it just still yeah. looks really chic right now. Like yes. Even today we look at it, we were so surprised with the design. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. No, actually, we could not see it coming. Let's put it this way, that it will last so well. Uh, but definitely, uh, the, I have this uh, saying that is less is more. And because we, more. we just made a very clean, very pure design, and a design that basically answers to function, because as I can explain why we did many of those things, why those features which guide the air, etc. So there's a lot of features that are absolutely relevant to the car. We actually even tested it in the wind tunnel, and some features which I designed by, uh, instinctively actually were good for aerodynamic. For example, you see that feature here that uh -huh. continues down. You know when you put it in the wind tunnel and you stick all the wool, the, we put this little wool string to see the flow of air against the body. Actually, this was perfectly flowing down. Yeah. So ah. when you say form, form uh, follows function, yeah. there was actually instinctively a lot of this in, into this car. We got uh, sort of lucky with the yeah, aero. I really like the finish of it over here. Like on the surface, it doesn't attract a lot of smudges, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. For spoiler, racing, Racing car drivers, uh, of course. Maybe we could say GT. GT, GT. you call it GT, GT right? racing, I would say electric racing. 
uh, we will sort of think a lot of downforce, a lot of wings, etc. Uh, but the idea here is the downforce actually is quite low, uh -huh. but the resistance to the air is excellent to have very long range. Oh. And then, so Econa is actually quite strong when it comes to designing, like the cars. Oh, it okay. is responsible for nearly all of the luxury cars in the world. <laughs> and I'm also quite curious about this one. It is quite futuristic, it is small, a little bit chubby. You are right, it is futuristic, it is very much a city car. It's called the NEO, and we it's did that uh, in 2015. You remember the launch of the, uh, the Shanghai Tower. So basically, oh. we realized, everybody realized already long ago, that uh, the new generation uh -huh. does not, uh, the Z generation, they don't care anymore about cars. You know, they used to be very trendy, but the new generation, they don't care. They prefer phone, they prefer computers, etc. Uh -huh. But actually, you just need to speak their language, to have a product so this which... this is the younger generation's language. Exactly. How and do they speak the about the cars? The the actually, we, you will be able to see it in picture, because on this model, you cannot, op you cannot open the door. Okay. But uh, you can see it from the, the pictures it's that appear. There. Yeah, there, so right? that actually is a uh, fuselage. Uh, that is, uh, I'm sorry, that is fuselage. Uh, it's, uh, not fuselage, but uh, nucleus, which is not here today, which is an autonomous driving vehicle. Uh -huh. uh, no driver at all. You see, no, no, no steering wheel. Uh -huh. So uh, another, uh, that's another approach. So we, we go even a step further here because tomorrow, that's a different type of architecture. And we got a comment on YouTube that is from Donald Don, lead the way to future, please, China. Yeah, when it comes to cars, okay. And Ikona, yes. how long has it been here in China? We have been here for 10 years. For 10 years already. And yes. then, so now you are making the future, basically. I went to your designing room the other day, and I didn't know that till all of the designs were top secret. And they are roaming around, they saw the designs, something like this. And it, I heard a car like this probably would be in the street someday in fact, next year. You are right, in fact, because you know, today's show, we are also showing this uh, Pix moving chassis. Uh -huh. which is a, an autonomous driving vehicle chassis, which is 3D printed in uh -huh. aluminium. So oh, quite, that one. Yes, it's quite a, an unusual way to manufacture, but very practical because you can alter the data and uh, make any shapes you want, track and length, you can customize what you want, and then you bring over your components. So this is a, uh, Pix Moving is a, a startup uh, from China, and we are working with them at this moment to um, uh, make a car for a car sharing. So there will be a further development of this type of design that you see here with a Neo that we will be presenting you uh, in the auto show in six months from now here in Shanghai. Uh -huh. How long does it take to print one with the 3D so it's a to, yeah. one, the to print a chassis is one week. Uh -huh. A week? A week to a chassis and do everything. So they're actually quite fast. They are, uh, their, their, their way of production, but most importantly is that they have no tooling basically okay. because they can 3D okay. print it and it's a very interesting program where they basically put uh, the, the data, they know the force that they will need, okay. that's okay. right, and the, and the program uh, will uh, calculate the thickness that you need everywhere. If you look at this type of design, it looks like bone structure okay. or it looks like trees, wow. which is exactly what nature does when it needs to answer to so, so and so much force. Here okay. and there, so it That's gets thicker in the junction. The video is yes, it's running by itself. That's right. Yeah, we have got this comment on Facebook that's from Far Alam Yu Safzai. Uh -huh, what does he say? Car. Yeah, so far, I really love your beautiful car up there. <laughs> okay, and then we have also got some comments on YouTube that is from Yahachi Jing. What question does he say? Question is, will this have enough horsepower? Yes, yeah, I think that's a question for you. So, the beauty of electric nowadays is that. Uh, um, Horsepower, I will not say it's almost what you wish for, but uh -huh. it, uh, it actually it is because it's a lot easier nowadays to make uh, with, uh, with the capacity of the electric motors. Uh -huh. uh, is, is, uh, is you have a lot of power, uh, power in a very small space. Okay. You can, you know, already Tesla is a very uh, normal car nowadays, yeah, right? I mean electric and the others. Car, that's, the uh, 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 that's right, because yeah. it's, it's actually very compact. You no longer need this huge V12 and twin turbo and this and that. You, okay. With electric power, you can have really a lot of uh, power and, uh -huh. and, and torque, and which Yaha is even better for acceleration, which is what okay. people really want. And Yaha Chin Jin has another question for you, something for the big cities I see, not for roads with bad conditions. That's correct. Yeah, Abs that's ab correct. Absolutely correct. Again, yeah. uh, well, the ideal, you know the ideal? Air yeah. suspension. I'm mm -hmm. a big fan myself of air suspension, uh -huh. to be able to have the, 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 the choice of uh, hardness of the, of the suspension, okay. uh, and also the choice of height of the suspension. I, 
because in fact, if you take uh, the car from a uh, Land Rover, for example, you yeah. know, you go on the motorway with the air suspension, they go naturally lower uh -huh. to optimize the aerodynamic. I think Tesla does that as well okay. uh, for the S. Thank so, you very much. Yeah, Thank thanks you. a lot. Thank you, you are so very much welcome. for your insight. Thank you. I really have learned a lot about your cars, your designs, especially this one, the chassis, yes. 3D planning, 3D printing, and also this one, this chubby car. That probably, I'm not allowed to touch it, sorry. So probably we're going to see that next year. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Thank, you. thank you for yeah. being with us. Okay. But you know so many about the cars. That's a lot. Okay, yeah. so for those who have just joined us, this is CGTN, me and Liu Chen. Uh -huh. And we are at the auto exhibition at the third CIE and we got another... Comment. Comment on, on Facebook. Uh, you, oh yeah, that's Facebook, thank you. That is Karen, <laughs> that is Karen Triana, Karen. It told her how nice younger car generation I want. want. <laughs> and Karen, so then I, yeah. I, yeah, I guess all these cars we've just visited, uh -huh. they're all for the younger generation That's about the true. designs, the concept. People want eco-friendly designs. And the chubby car we saw just now probably would be uh, out in the streets next year. Next year, really? Yeah. That's fast. Okay. Uh -huh. And I have got another one that From... is uh, Wazir OK, that is uh -huh. fund reinvestment to the simplest way to make money when you have a genuine accounts manager. So many people have lots to <laughs> scam it just because they didn't have the time to look, to look for, for a better, 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 better. Okay, thank you for your comments. And uh, oh, this is whoa, uh, Suraj Kumar. Suraj Kumar is a diehard fan of CGTN, so I haven't seen you a lot of <laughs> so time. So you have named, that, named his name for, for yeah, a couple of times. Wow, wow superb. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you very much. And Amazing. Karen, Karen, love love you guys. guys. Yeah, we love you too. <laughs> and so, once again, if you love our comments, especially on Weibo in China. Yeah, if you were in China, yeah. yeah. And leave a comment down below and also repost our live stream and like it, comment it and then let more you're of asking for know about it. <laughs> yeah, of course, I'm sorry. So, and then you're going to have the chance to have this panda once again. It's worth it, yeah. yeah. That is like ad time, commercial time. Thank you very much. And then next, and um, we are, and the camera just said, we are, it is very much for the future generation. True. And what's the future of cars? What do you think? Driverless, Driverless. definitely. Self-driving technology, right? Uh -huh. And actually, in 2018, I was in one of these self-driving cars, mm -hmm. and I tried it. It was level four already. So level five is the highest, and level four was very much like you don't have to be on the uh, steering wheel at all. Uh -huh. But the thing is, everything should be set up in the first place, and then when it comes to rainstorms or heavy rains or snowy days, it doesn't work. But now, it's the technology uh -huh. is moving on. It's getting more uh -huh. advanced. And now let's bring you to Pony Eye. Wow. Okay. So technology. two years later, let's see what they've got. Hi. Hiya. Hi. 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 Yeah, our old friends already. Oh yes. So I would like to say hi to our viewers around the world. Hello, everyone. And in the meantime, you're gonna get some uh, comments here, okay. and then you can answer the questions. Sure. I'll just I'll just answer. The I questions. want 2050 now and get my car. Okay. Thank you very much. That's Karen again. <laughs> Amazing China. Okay. So what do we have today? Self-driving technology, and then you are one of the uh, companies that is dedicated to making self-driving cars. Absolutely. I was in the car, yeah. 2018, and now what's new? <laughs> what's new? I yeah, really want to know about that. I'll just show you guys around. Can we get into it? Oh, uh, not now because it's locked at the moment. But uh, anyway, I'll show you because there's nothing special inside. Uh -huh. What's new now? Um, what's new is here, yeah. because this is the latest generation of Pony AI self-driving technology. Mm -hmm. We don't make cars. This car is a Lexus. It's not ours. Um, but we just make the system to, mm. to turn it from a kind of ordinary car to become a smart car. So what we have inside is here, on top of it, mm -hmm. it's not a hat, but a kind of fusion of different kind of sensors. It has different lighters, radars, and cameras to make sure it can perceive surrounding area of 200 meters. So it can spot everything, even as small as a small cat, or as big as a, as a truck, a lorry. Uh -huh. That's not a problem. And also inside the car, we also have our computer system. Mm -hmm. That is like its brain. So the brain, when, yeah, it? um, it's in the car. It's it's, the car. No, okay. we can't just put it here because then you can't sit here. You know, that's a problem. Okay. We actually have it in the trunk. I think some of viewers must be quite curious about the inside of a self-driving yeah. car. And then, but we can't. But you still it right have now. a driver's seat over there. Yeah, of course. It, no pressure should the, be here. 
We have a driver seat for two reasons. First, according to current law, you must have a safe operator in a self-driving car. That's one thing. And uh, second, there's no point to get rid of the seat because you need to make sure it can accommodate enough people. Uh, you know, yeah. I, know, yeah, so I don't have another question for you. Sure, sure. Just Christina go for it. Erickson. Hello, Christina. Uh, Christina, I, I love, love with snow, snow and rain. Will it work? So this oh, is, this is a good question. Oh, yeah, that, I'm this wondering is level the same four. Thing. Yeah. This is level four already, and you said this one actually could weather all kinds of. Yeah, it can weather through right? different conditions. Rain I think storms and everything, so it works over there. Yeah. So how does it function? Um, that is um, Pony AI strength because we are the only autonomous driving company that operates in both China and the United States on a kind of daily basis. Mm -hmm. These two countries are very different. San Francisco wow. area in California, that is um, very sunny, always sunny days. Yeah. But in Guangzhou, in the it first... Rains a lot. Yeah. It rains really a lot. In the first 500 <laughs> days of our test, it has like more than 200 days of huge rains. <laughs> so at the start, easy, yeah. It was very hard because we don't know what it is. Uh -huh. But then we just uh, do our algorithm again. We just uh, developed our own cleaning system uh -huh. to make sure the sensors can, can work properly during rains. And uh, after a period of time, I think we can handle rain very, very well. Even nowadays, sometimes I'll drive in Guangzhou. Mm -hmm. I just had once or twice, mm -hmm. one self-driving car just passed me very fast. I was surprised uh -huh. because I was driving very carefully in a heavy downpour. Ah. But it was faster than me. So oh, I was really? amazed. Yeah, yeah, I tried it like two it. or three years ago in one of your cars. It was Lincoln back then. I mean, it's the uh, sure. base of this car. And then, so I was uh, filming this company, the new technology, and the car just uh, cut me off, and then it stopped all of a sudden. Mm. Okay, we have another question for sure. you. And that is... Uh, Can I have how, one? How, I see that. No, how much is it? <laughs> how much is it? <laughs> is it on the market or not? Um, unfortunately, it's not on the market at the moment uh -huh. because we're still at kind of a development stage. Uh -huh. um, frankly speaking, autonomous driving is still at very early days. Uh -huh. But we want to commercialize it. We want to turn it into a kind of product to serve more people, to offer the kind of modern mobility service to different kind of people. Okay. So, well, I have one more question. So you were just saying that you are turning the ordinary car into a smarter one. Yeah. So what has been changed? You just added one facility at the top. That's yeah. it? Or um, you changed anything else? No, we didn't change anything apart from what we see here. That is, we just add a hat oh. on, on top of it and uh, we just had a brain inside of it. Yeah. So nice. that's pretty much the, all the major changes we had made. How many cameras do you have? Um, we have all together, let me just count, 15 sensors that include seven cameras, four lighters, and four radars. Oh, Each a plays a different role. That, is that sounds expensive. Like yeah, that's the eyes of the car. Well, so at, uh, technology is very expensive when it yeah. comes to a development stage. Sure, but sure, sure. It would sure. be uh, lowered as the time goes on, especially mm -hmm. some companies, many companies actually now are working on the new technology. That is probably the future, yeah. and then we don't have to drive anymore. <laughs> okay. But so we still need to sit at the driver's seat. Yeah, and many people actually, many of the, uh, the audiences over here at the auto exhibition, they come over here, they're quite curious about the new technology. And unlike us, actually, journalists, we usually uh, we, uh, roam around and they would like to get the uh, latest technology. So I've seen that before. But That's people actually, yeah, yeah, ordinary people actually are quite curious about it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you the good well. to you. know so many about the cars. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Okay. Right. Another comment, is, I guess. Uh, yeah. Christina Erickson, how about, how about I, I get the, the tester, tester for it? And I can give an American review with snow, rain, and, and, and the kids, kids in, in it. it. Yeah. That's a good point. Kids Actually, in it. How company, to make sure it's this safe. Company, Pony Eye, uh, it is also in Los Angeles, right? Oh, no, it's not in Los Angeles. Uh, uh -huh. We are in the United States who are both in the Silicon Valley in Fremont uh -huh. and uh, we also have a fleet in uh -huh. Southern California in uh -huh. Irvine which means we have two fleets in Irvine and in Fremont I would okay. like to welcome Christi Christine to visit our fleet yeah, and Christina, take a ride okay. uh, it's your time to go over there and thank try you very it. much for invite <laughs> <laughs> okay okay and I guess and this is, is Dave, uh, this is Dave Koro. Is this going to be a thing in China no, no, only, no. or are these plans to make this product? I think he worldwide? just said that yeah, they've got everywhere. office in uh, in America, and they're actually taking the weather in America into account. Okay, that is the design. future when it comes to self-driving technology. Uh -huh. And many companies actually they started from the United States, especially from the Silicon Valley, uh -huh. and they came back to China. Many of the startups and they start the company over here. So actually, I. 
How do you feel about self-driving technology? Do you think it is uh, feasible or doable in the future? It's like, feasible how and durable, but because last year I was here as well, but mm -hmm. they've been talking about uh, driverless technology, uh -huh. this and that. But this year it's the same thing, but somehow I just feel like it's so near, it's so close to that era. But it hasn't come. And you know, we're like almost people, there, right? It's almost like, but like, I still feel like that. I don't know yeah. why. Like, but yeah, you can tell like the technology is growing. What and I'm thinking is, yeah, we are investing a lot in mm -hmm. self-driving technologies, and also is uh, part of the reason is the uh, promotion, especially media outlets. Like <laughs> we us, really actually. love stories yeah. about them. Any progress they've made during the process, yeah. we like to write a story about it. We're yeah. saying, yeah, we are very close to a new era of you know, driverless technology, self-driving technology. Yeah, especially for tech reporters, they usually roam around the high technologies when it comes to the auto industry. And then that's why we have heard a lot about self-driving cars, technologies, or self-driving buses over there. If we turn the camera around, and people are quite curious about this, actually. I did a story on it, uh -huh. like, two years ago, about yeah. self-driving so, buses. See, you've done, like, similar story. I mean, like, related, yeah, relevant like stories two okay. years ago. Yeah. And then, that is the bus in the future, probably. That's the bus for the future. Actually, it is already in use. But is it? in some encircled areas, uh, it is not, you don't see that in the streets, of course. Too much traffic, especially in Beijing or Shanghai. And then, so, yeah, we got to the Christina Aris, and you two are so fun. Love your vibe. Thank you very much. Thank Christina. you so much. Yeah, probably your kids and you, and then you can try um, this visit their park, office in America. Maybe not States. <laughs> okay, what time is it over there now? I uh, know it's nearly 12. Yeah. yeah, I know the United States is. Uh, they yeah, are still uh, having the vibe about the still. new <laughs> administration, possibly, very possible. Very okay. possible. Yeah. So now it's we have come to so another blue. place. When it comes to, so when it comes to the auto industry, and then we usually think of diesel, petrol, mm -hmm. and of course pollution, True. emissions, yeah. exhaust emissions, and everything like that. So. That is why many companies, car making companies mm -hmm. or the related companies, industries, they are working on sustainable development and that is why we are bringing you to, the to next Michelin. Stop. Yeah, and there we are. This is a journey to sustainable future. So we have come to this the sustainable is an ecosystem. ecosystem. Okay. Hello. Hey, yeah, so this okay. is, a, so this, can I, can I touch it? Yeah, of course. I guess this is an interaction uh, facility so where people can see Okay, so there is a projector over there. Ah. Okay. Okay, Fred is over there. Okay. Okay, thanks a lot. So, so why don't we play with it first? Let's do it first. So press so, here. Press here. There is so a watering projector. the plant. There is a projector over here and you press it. Uh -huh. And if you stop the laser coming over here and there, it is uh, illuminating. Okay. And then, so... What is it? So this is the natural rubber, it's growing. So and this, this is, is a rubber tree, right? Yeah. Okay, and then you And then they will be used the into making the... And then you have this, the tree grows up. And then you come this Go way. over here. It is made into low rolling resistance uh -huh. tires over here. And then then it also goes to recycle the rubber powders. So it oh, it also will be used in heating. And paving, wow. Heating, paving over there. And then we roam Press around here. this one. Oh, yeah. What is this? Recycling tires. I talked to the CEO of uh, Michelin China the uh -huh. other day. And what then is I, I asked the question about sustainable development. That's mm -hmm. the new concept they're promoting for this year, especially at CIE. And they said, okay, recycling tires. They said, when it comes to the tire making industry, usually mm -hmm. it is actually quite contaminating or polluting. And they, they measure the recycling tires. So that is what they do. It's over here. If you recycle, so it'll be used in different ways. The tires and the tires would be used carbon black, paving, oil. Making, rubber powder, and also oil and carbon black. Carbon black is used to absorb waste absorb. and everything. Oh, I see. Okay. okay. And then you have the plane. So many kinds of vehicles over here. Okay, zero carbon dioxide emission, and then it goes into water. Oh, that's so this lovely. is the circle. Yeah, this is like a. Circle. It starts from the plant. Yeah. This is like a. What do we call it? Infinity. Yeah. 
So infinity, what is yeah. produced is the useful circle. Yeah, this is an infinity, infinity circle. Okay, and other and high tech materials. materials and everything like that. This is how they made the tie. I love the design of, or I love the idea of sustainable ecosystem. True. Also, what I love most about Michelin, when it comes to Michelin, you know, it's the mascot. <laughs> You know the maskers like the uh, the chubby. Where where maskers. is he? Where's the maskers? Maskers. No, he he, he, he is taking a rest over there. Okay. Oh, Hello. is it? <laughs> no. Hi, that's our friend. Okay. That's hi, yeah. Friend. Would you like to say hi to our viewers? Hello. 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 Good morning. Good morning. Let's morning. see if you have got any questions over here. We've been uh, hanging around there. Uh -huh. Who is uh, that? That is Guo Jian, China International Import Exhibition. Yeah, that's right, the CI. And very nice, Shanghai City. And where is this place? Yeah, they're asking about this place. Uh, this is uh, Michelin. And yes. we were just talking about the, sustainable the, the development, system, yeah. the ecosystem. And we have come Tell to this something place. about this tire. <laughs> it looks different. His name is Vision. Vision. Yeah. So Vision. he. Okay. Yes. Vision. It is airless, uh -huh. 3D printed, uh -huh. and it is connected tie, uh -huh. and all it is organic. So organic. Organic. organic, organic. So okay. this is our vision for the sustainable mobility, sustainable future. Uh -huh. it, One question: Is it useful? Mm -hmm. Have you ever been put in use? No, 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 no. It's a it's, it's a concept tie. Oh, okay. It's a concept. It's a new concept, but it's quite different from the tires that we see. You see, mm -hmm. it is hollowed inside uh -huh. yeah, over here. It's very much like the twigs and the branches of trees, right? I think that's the concept, the idea of sustainable development. And it is very much like the, uh, you see, the density of the... So that's the, why uh, I'm wondering it how would they... Quite strong. Is it strong. It, it must be. So I'm yeah. wondering how would they put it into use. Is it oh, usable it or not? Okay, and of course today, if you want to know more about Michelin, when it comes to Michelin, it's a uh, one of the. It's not one of. The, it's a top tire maker in the world. And then about this tire, and we're gonna get an expert over here to talk about this. The CEO of Michelin China. Yeah, I talked to him the other day, and he is coming. He's on his way. Uh -huh. And if you have any questions, please leave your comments on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Weibo. Anywhere or CGT app, and then we'll get back to your questions as soon as possible. And the camera yeah, we coming. have the special Hi. guest joining us. Hi, Cameron. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Hi, Hi good morning. To see you. Would you like to say hi to our viewers around the world? Hi, good morning. Okay. Good, to, good to see you, Isle. Yeah, Cameron hi. is the CEO of Michelin China, and Cameron yeah. is from France. Hi. Would you like to say hi to your French viewers <laughs> over there? Yes, bonjour à toutes et à tous. Ravi de, de vous avoir en direct. Ah, okay, yeah. you, you it sounds it? like you understood it. Uh, yeah. Oh, you did it. it. You did it, yeah. But something like, hello, how are you doing? I'm at the uh, CIE. Is it correct? Is more, it correct? More. No. In, in French, you mean? Yeah. Okay. Like what you said just now. Okay. Uh, bon, bonjour à toutes et à tous. Uh, je m'appelle Kamran Mosugi. Je suis uh, le CEO de, de Groupe Michelin en, en Chine. Donc euh, je suis ravi que, que de être en direct avec vous euh, ce matin euh, et puis bah, à notre boost, euh, de, euh, à notre exposition au CIIE de cette année en, en, à Shanghai. Oh, thank you okay, very much. Okay, that's right. cool. Do you French, right? No, I don't. You know, but okay. I guess the interview will be, the, be, will be done in English. Yeah, and okay. we, we got this uh, comment that is from Irfan Ahmed Bouto and great views, I like that place. Like okay. your, yeah, this your is, area. Yeah, this is interesting. Okay. And it's then, so, so we would like to talk about vision of yeah. there. Yes. And we were. Yes. We need to know more about the tire here. Why is it different? So, 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 so this tire is our uh, concept. Con yeah. concept. We call it concept. Uh, we call it vision mm -hmm. for the future. We hope that uh, from now to eight, ten years, we will have it. Mm -hmm. So, what's interesting, as you see, uh, this is a 3D printed tire. Okay, with uh, high-tech materials that are that we would like it biodegradable in the future. Okay, and uh, it's airless, so it's safe. It will be connected, so it will be smart. And as we use the materials only where we need, and uh, we will put the best of the best of our uh, technology in materials, so it will be roll resistance with uh, less uh, raw materials that we use. You know, there are many holes inside, as you see because we will use only where we need these materials. So it means the, that uh, it's greener. Uh, 
the, the to, tires to, in production. So, so uh, I think that this concept, it will be within 10 years, 10 eight, years. Eight, eight to 10 years. Yes, okay. because we need to test it. We need to, to, to find the right way to do that. And especially we would like it also to be re, the, the pattern to be recyclable uh -huh. easily. So you don't need to change everything. Because today when you change your tire, you change everything. But the, the most important thing oh, that is, is, the, is So we this can just part. only change the surface Exactly, of the tire. exactly. So oh, you, you, can, you can print it. I have yes. one question you actually. Print it. I don't what know if it? you have noticed, because it's hollowed out uh -huh. in the middle and there are so many holes. And what if the, uh, like the, some stones or bubbles would get into Oh, that's a good question. What is it? What I think that having some uh, small stones inside is not a problem for it's a tire. A problem. Yes, as, so as far as I know, I'm not a technician, but, uh, but, uh, but you know, because what makes, what's important uh -huh. Is this uh, this uh, this links that, that that you have between materials? Okay, uh -huh. it's uh, imagine if you have a small stone even today inside your tire. Uh -huh. I don't. I wouldn't be mind. Yes, yeah, it would you. Be yeah, you. I mean, you would be able yeah, to course. pick them. But that's the concept. That's yes. the future. That is that's why future. we are at this yes. way. Yes. Yeah. This is this is really the the concept of uh, Michelin. Also, in Michelin, tomorrow everything will be sustainable. Uh -huh. It means that we will like the the future generation of tires to be, mm. first of all, safer, uh -huh. no puncture. So uh, safer it should be smarter, connected. Uh -huh. It will be greener, because of all I explained to do. And I hope that in terms of presentation, it will be more joyful <laughs> to to use it. And then, so we we got this is Karen Triana. It looks like 3D. Yeah, it's 3D. Yeah, it's 3D. Because you know, in Michelin company, we have um, we have all the means for 3D printing. Yeah. And uh, and uh, we use our all uh, our own machines uh, to to print the this tire. Ah. So this is important. Also, it means that we are not this. This is a concept, but we have also the machines to produce that. And globally, in Michelin company. Uh, very important and critical machines. We built the machines ourselves. Oh, that's lovely. Yes. It's like it's a quite comprehensive when it comes yes. to Michelin. Also, the culinary industry yes. and the time making. And I love the uh, mascot over here. Every yeah. time Yesterday is around. coming, this right? Is our Where, is Where, Where is he? Is he? Where, Where is he? I miss him. Oh. I just saw him walking around. He was, uh, he was roaming around. <laughs> he is roaming around. Uh, we can ask for our, our team. Where is uh, Where is Bivandum now? But, okay. Uh, we will say hi to him we'll when we come to, across yeah, him around. To the mascot. Very lovely. Yes. It has uh, become more athletic. Have you seen that? Back in the 1970s, it was a different. It yes. was very chubby Bidandam and then a, alcoholic. It's becoming more and more sportive. Yeah. And it's, sportive, yeah. yeah. It used to smoke like a chimney. So oh. <laughs> now it's becoming really fit. Yes. Okay, thank you very much, thank Cameron. You. Thank you. Thank you very thank much. Thank you very Once much again. for being because okay. this morning. Thanks a lot. Nice to meet you. Okay, thank you. So we have got some uh, what? Comments. More comments. Oh, that is Karen Triana. It looks like 4D. You just said 4D. 3D. No, no 4D. it was a 4D printing. Do we have 4D printer? No. I don't think so. 4D how? And that is Xu Guotian. Excellent concept tire. Thank you very much. And Xu Guotian, once again, hope can or uh, you can attend, attend the CIA CIA in person next, next yeah. year. Yeah. So and, it's a pity this okay. year. That, that uh. is the Irfan Ahmad Bhutto once again, which company has produced that? Uh, it was Michelin. It's Michelin, yeah. Okay, Michelin China, a time making company, but now they're expanding into the culinary industry and also they're promoting the idea, the concept of sustainable development. And we are the CIA. We're not alive at the auto industry. <laughs> yeah. Auto industry, yeah. Uh, today is a very, very crowded. Not as crowded as, as the second yesterday, day, yeah. so we have to push our way sometimes. Uh, now over there, if we turn the camera around, as I said just now, there are top seven car, car making, makers. Okay, car making companies yeah. over here, and that is Mercedes Benz. And over there for our next stop, and it's we Tesla. are going to Tesla. Okay. Who is having a factory in right here in Shanghai? Yeah, they have a Giga factory. The Giga factory has produced thousands of uh, Model 3s just now and they are being shipped to Europe and the cars are expected to arrive in Europe at the end of November. It's full over there, yeah. <laughs> you see? Yeah, that's lovely. So Tesla, I think it is the, uh, one of the most crowded the exhibition zones. I know, yeah. Zones. Okay. Everyone wants to touch it, try it on. Yeah, that's lovely. And then before, before we go, uh, let's... Uh, Another comment from Weibo. That is Bowser, boss. Oh, I was in China now. Uh, okay, Bowser. 
Yeah, yeah both of that is steamed bun. <laughs> okay. That's a Come here name. next year. Come hopefully. here next year, maybe. Yeah. yeah, hopefully. And we hope the uh, coronavirus pandemic will be brought under control globally next year, and then you can move around, people can travel around once again. And then we got that from Amazing Weibo, Grace. Sing, Amazing Grace. Uh, yeah. It uh, is a very tech savvy. Of course, when it comes course. to CIE. Hi. 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 Hello. So we are live right now. Okay. Um, on okay. Facebook, Weibo, Hi, and Twitter. Okay. Hi. Okay, Mr. Liu will be our guide today when it comes to Tesla. Yeah, Tesla usually gets the most attention around the world. <laughs> of course, every day. Mm. Yeah. So, Mr. Liu, would you like to say hi to our viewers? You give our Chinese world the hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Okay. That is very concise, but I love it. So, tell us more about your cars today. Today, we will talk about some cars. Okay. Mr. Liu will be speaking Chinese, and both and of us will be translating. We will be translating it. Okay. So tell us more about the cars we have. Can you tell us more about the cars we have? Okay. So tell us more about the cars we have. Okay. So tell us more about the cars we have. Okay. So tell us more about the cars we have. Okay. So tell us more about the cars we have. Okay. So tell us more about the cars we have. Okay. So tell us more about the cars we have. Okay. So tell us more about the cars we have. Okay. So tell us more about the cars we have. Okay. So tell us more about the cars we have. Okay. So tell us more about the cars we have. Okay. So tell us more about the cars we have. Okay. So tell us more about the cars we have. Okay. So tell us more about the cars we have. Okay. So tell us more about the cars we have. Okay. So we have three types right over here. That is Model S over there. And the, yeah, the blue car. Uh -huh, and the and red one is produced in, was produced in China. Around, yeah, the red the one model is three. Model 3. Model 3 has drawn a lot of attention worldwide. Exactly. Model, model 3 the one, huh? It has attracted so many people. Why is the Tesla Model 3 so popular over the world? Because Model 3 is a very advanced design and a very advanced car. So the design is actually quite avant-garde, and also it's quite the design and the technologies that you have put into the making of this car are quite futuristic, right? Okay. <laughs> the most important thing is it is beautiful. It's, I mean, That's true. When it comes I agree. To the red car, that means. So how about like the gender when it comes to the uh, customers of your car? So it is usually it is more female oriented or male oriented. You mean, when you design this car, is there any gender? No. No. Our car, um, men and women like the colors. Maybe the colors are different. 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 蓝色的、黑色的比较受到嗯男车主的关注，那、like、么红色的、白色的比较受到这个女同胞的这个喜欢。So I'm wondering what's the most popular color sold in China？ 中国卖的喜欢的颜色是什么？可能白色现在会买的比较多一点。Okay, the white one. Okay, white one is the most popular. The white one over there, and the red one. Yeah, it is so out there. You are driving a Tesla in the streets, and then people probably. You will get the most attention all the time in this space, and I would like to get into one of those cars. Yeah, why don't we just go in over there and see what's the difference? Can show you some. Okay. Now it's time to try it on. So how do you feel, Nibia? It's empty now. You see over there. Can I? Okay. Yeah, it's it's your time. It's my time. Driver time. Driver seat. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I I go to the other side. Coming. Oh, lovely. How is it? Yeah, it is really good actually. You have enough leg room, but not as much as leg room that you tried just now, the fuse line. Yeah, but for this it's one, shorter than the previous room, one. The wheel is actually quite comfortable. I think that's the, uh, the leather that they use. Can I touch it? Yeah, of course you can. Yeah, it's smooth. And I really love the big monitor over here. It is mm -hmm. very big and quite convenient, especially for the navigation system. Mm -hmm. Okay. And everyone, this is Model 3, and okay, that is a rosy obil, and hello to all people there. The wonderful land of China, 100% beautiful place, of course. If you have any questions, and then leave your comments on our social media platform. I'm now in Model 3 of Tesla. Uh, that is uh, one of the latest models they have. And it, it is actually the design over here, the cup holder, quite comfortable. And then over here, and this one, if I touch it, it feels pretty good. And also, you have this armrest over here. The design is quite... What is that? What, what should, how should I put it? It's very comfortable. And then to make sure that you are extremely there in the car. And I love the design of the window over here, the finish. Okay. The window, there is no window frame here. over there. Yeah. And the window is... So, yeah, I think they took out the window so that people can peek into the inside of it. 
and also the uh, rear view mirror. The design, I don't find it's quite particular uh -huh. you know, when it comes to the rear mirror design, but it is very Tesla. Yeah. How? What I like the most is here. It's, yeah. the, it's, the, it's the window. Yeah, and the uh, window, we call it the... Uh, what do we call it? The uh, sunroof, or uh -huh. we call it the moonroof, and the design is really good. We call it um, panor panoramic roof. Yeah, panoramic the panor roof. Okay, panoramic. Now we we are calling it panoramic. Yeah, because for the sunroof or moonroof, you uh -huh. know, we had before like the regular cars usually like a window, a small one over here. <laughs> but for this one, it's like the whole. It's thing. a huge. It's like yeah. stretching to the end of the car. Yeah, it's stretching to the end of this car. And the wheels, and they have accelerator. Of course, this is an electric car, so it is automatic. The accelerator, yeah, if you pedal it, it is not that hard. Mm -hmm. yeah, especially is when it, it different? Because I've got an oil car. Can I try it? Yeah, it can. You it's can not try. that harsh, right? It's not that hard. Yeah, it's light. It's yeah, light, it's yeah. Light. It's light. Okay. Yeah, I can tell. I can tell okay. the difference. Oh. What's the difference? Why? Let's try it. Come over here, your camera. What is it? Yeah. So you this is it. a different way you open the door. Yeah. I love the uh, the handle of it because the handle is built inside the uh, uh -huh. surface of the car. It's merged into it. Yeah. Yeah, but I found it hard to open it. Yeah, Just it press is, it. it. Okay. Is, yeah, it is open already. Okay. And then you open here. Try the space behind it. Coming. Okay. So who is going to be the driver? We won't have a driver today. It's, uh, so it's going to be moving forward on itself, right? How do you feel? It is quite uh, spacious over here. True. And I say, as I said just now, you have enough leg room for the drivers and also the shotgun seat. And then behind here, it is quite spacious and cozy at the same time. It's cozy. And over yeah. here in the boot, or you call it the trunk, it is also quite big and you can put a lot of things over here on top. I don't know the stereo of this car, yeah, because we don't have any music on. Oh! There we are! <laughs> there we are! <laughs> so it understands you. <laughs> yeah. Is it because you said something? It... Because I said music, I think it's... I guess, I guess, yeah. I guess, yeah. Because yeah, you said, oh, we want some music and it's just on. Yeah. It turns on automatically. Yeah, it's surprising, is really isn't it? Good. Yeah. The stereo, it is from the front, I think. It is from the front, not yeah. from the back. No, okay. no, it's from the front. Okay, lovely. But I feel like I'm going to have a trip somewhere around here in Shanghai. I'm already on the way. Let's I mean, the music here. is... <laughs> That's lovely. <laughs> That's lovely. I'm not going to stay here anyway. Okay. The music was so good. I just suddenly feel like I'm on the trip. Thank you. And then... And sorry. there's something else about the car. Technically. So about the boot, it's also quite spacious. You know, for journalists, we usually have a huge suitcase over here, and so then we can put probably two, two of them, two of mine. I usually have a large one. Okay. Liu 老师，他这个这边的设计也是和其他的车是不一样的，是吧？这边的设计。对。The design over here is also quite different. 它后面箱是一个这种开启式的后备箱。Okay. So because of this window, it is panoramic. So when it comes to the design of the uh, the boot over here, it is quite different. It starts from over here. Oh, it is not, I see. Yeah, Generally, it's from here. Yeah, head. we have a big one. It wow, is supposed to be uh, okay. from here. It stretches over there, but now it is very small. It's a uh, what is like that? I think what inspired you? 就是您当时这个设计的时候，就是当时出于什么样的考量？是看到其他的设计？它主要是考虑啊，打开以后哈，你的头它能打开的很高，不会碰到头啊。所以你可以这样拿东西嘛。如果它这是开到这里的话，可能就只能开到这里，就要会碰到。Yeah. So like, for example, if you take the taxi, the back of it, yeah, yeah, you've got the, yeah, you got to be concerned. The car itself, actually, it is quite low, but when you open the trunk. It actually it is also very tall. It is around for 180. Okay, that's lovely. Model three. And so how about the CIE? This is our CIE. The 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 CIE. The
。啊、嗯，我觉得每个节上台的观众都是我们的潜在客户。OK，So、okay, so, all, all of them. So including us. Including us. Okay. So, oh no, so he he was saying that everyone on this platform would be their potential customers. Yeah. So including us, we two just tried it on. Yeah, the news of、And、Tesla. It's all over the world. So I was there actually the other day, and、mm-hmm. then saw、so、the cars. Thousands of them are being shipped to the to, to Europe, Europe, and then from there the cars will be sold in over ten European countries. Of there. So yeah, as、that's、I said just now. Yeah. yeah, that's lovely. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. Bye bye. Thank you. So that's it. So that's almost the end of it. Okay, let's go that Do、way. we have any more it's very comments? When it comes I know. To yeah, we really need、though. to see the way out. Let's see what comments we have got. We need to push our way. How about here?、Through. Let's stand.、Uh, okay. So that is Xu Guotian. What okay, does he say? Let's turn around. Enjoy all the latest high tech here. A great feast to my eyes. Thanks wow, thank for you for sharing, sharing and, and explanation. explanation. Okay, yeah, thank you very much. We'd love to. I、Definitely. actually learned a lot as well.、Mm. It's so good to talk to them. Okay. Anything else? I know we were talking about Xu Guojian. Probably Xu is our fans over here, and then we have a courier PK Peter replying to any their available fan, job. Xu Guojian, any available, available job, job over here? Yeah. yeah, there are tons of jobs actually. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's lovely. Thank you very much for being with us. And I think let's bring it to the end of our live stream over here. Oh, so again, again, I nearly, I nearly again, forgot that. Yeah. Once again, if you love our posts, I mean for Weibo for users. For Weibo users、yeah. only. If you love our posts, and please share it with your friends, and then leave your comments down below, and you like it, and follow CGTN, which is very important, and then you would get the chance to have this panda. That is my lovely panda, actually. That is my own. <laughs> But I'm gonna send this to my beautiful, beautiful fans at CGTN over there. And you have this. And this is a pin from CIE. Okay. And then leave and a comment. And you just said it's a powerful pin.、Right? Yeah, it's a powerful one, of course. So you would have the chance to have these two. Souvenirs. I know it's not a lot, but that is. I、uh, mean, that's a lot. I mean, that they're lovely. Yeah, they're lovely. That's important. So that's, that's important. That's important. Okay. So, anyways, thank you for being with us. And then, if you leave us comments, if you leave us comments, and then we'll get back to your comments even after the live stream. And then you have the chance to win these souvenirs once again, once again, and once leave again. Leave your comments. <laughs> yeah, of course. And stay tuned with CGTN. Okay. How、and、do you feel today? Amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Okay. How about you? Lovely. I have been here for like four days, days already. Yeah, yeah. I've been roaming around all of the top car designers. Car makers and manufacturers in the world, and it is not as crowded as the second day, I have to say. But still, <laughs> you mentioned that a couple of times. Couple of days, yeah, a couple of times. I was really happy with that. But still, when it comes to some special zones like Tesla, you have to still push your way through.、Uh-huh. Okay, thank you very much for being with us, and、mm-hmm. then hope you enjoy the trip、yeah. with us. Have a good day. Bye bye. Bye bye.